what's up you guys it's me Sanan and back with another beauty video I've been thinking about doing this video for a little while now because I've been wanting to but I didn't really know how to do it because what we're gonna do today is we're gonna rank all my eyeshadow palettes which are 21 eyeshadow palettes at this moment uh, I'm not really looking to expand it anytime soon so I thought it would be a great time to do this. Also because I have had this collection for a little while now and I've had to kind of use it for a little while now so I kind of know which palettes I really do like and which I really don't like. I was thinking about my ranking list and I just could not pick like my worst palette or my best palette, you know? I, I don't really have a clear top 5 or bottom 5 or anything so I couldn't really make a top 21 tier list if I thought about it. It was really, really hard for me. So I decided to do the tier list thingy, which you can see over here, probably. I hope I calculated that well. You know, this usually goes in like, you have an S tier and an A tier and an F tier, you know, those kinds of things. But I gave the tiers names to make it more clear in what tier the specific palettes fall. Uh, I took pictures of all my palettes. They're all sideways for some reason, I don't know why. But that doesn't matter, because I'm gonna show you all the palettes as well. I have them all over here. So I'm gonna show you the palette, talk to you about it, then tell you which tier it's gonna be in. But I have five tiers. The bottom tier is decluttering is an option. So, like, I'm not even sure why I'm keeping this palette. I might as well declutter it or sell it or give it away or anything like that. And then I have They Exist. This is the palettes that exist in my collection. They're there. I grab them every few months and then I feel like, oh, I use them. That's good. So that's why I'm not decluttering them. I don't hate them, but they're there. Then we have the middle tier, which is they're fine. I use them decently, a decent amount. I enjoy them, but not that much. Like, they're okay. Then I have the, I use these regularly tier. So those are the palettes that I do use a lot, but I don't love, love, love. Uh, they're not my, my babies, but I do use them a lot. And then we have the loves of my life. So those are my absolute favorite palettes. So I'm hoping everything will be like at least above the exist tier i guess because then it would mean that i have a collection that's good for me so i'm gonna start with the first one that's in the tier list on the pictures and that's the artistry palette i have some opinions about this palette this is kind of the palette that got me into creative colorful fun makeup morphe isn't really the best brand but these shades in here most of them the ones that i like to use are actually pretty decent like the actually colorful shades i love to use those the thing is I don't support James Charles anymore, so I've been a bit in doubt about this palette. I don't really want to get rid of this because I feel like I can still get a good amount of use out of this and I paid for it, so I just think I'm gonna cover it up with stickers. I'm gonna put it in a ranking now, in a tier list, and I think I'm gonna put it at I use these regularly because like anytime I do a creative look, I tend to grab this palette and just keep it near me and use a few colors, so I do use this one. A lot i don't use this on the daily because i don't like i don't really like to grab this one for everyday kind of looks and neutral looks because it's just so bulky but i do like to use this one a lot for more creative looks so so that's why it's in the tier i use these regularly <laughs> i've already done a makeup collection video so if you want like more details about the palettes or my other makeup you should check the video out i put it in the little eye thingy over here so you can check that out so next one is my 88 shades eyeshadow palette by max amore you can't get this one anymore um i don't know i got it like at the same period i got the morphe palette and back then i liked the fact that it had a lot of shades but right now i'm more into more curated palettes so this one is way too much i don't really use this one a lot i don't know I, I this one is for me a bit in between like they're fine and they exist i think i'm gonna put it in 
it's fine. Like, if I would just have this palette with me, I'd be perfectly fine using it. I could create a lot of different looks with it, so that's nice. And the quality is decent, so I think in like it's fine. It's it's a good place for this one, I think. Now we're gonna go on to one of my newest palettes, which is the ColourPop Fate and You palette. ColourPop isn't the best brand, but it is really affordable and available to a lot of people. And it's cruelty free, but lately they haven't really become, been coming up with a lot of new exciting things. Except for this palette, I think. I'm sorry, I just really love this palette. <laughs> the pigmentation in these shades is amazing. I use the pastel shades a lot. I have used this one in at least like 8 or 9 of my recent looks since I've got it. There's beautiful shimmers in here. The glitters, I've even used the glitters a few times even though I said I wouldn't because I hate press glitters, but sometimes I just need that tiny extra sparkle and I'll put it on. I think I'll have to put these, this one in like the loss of my life. I wouldn't really say this is the love of my life, but this is the one that I have been using for nearly every single look over the past two months. So I think that just shows that I really, really love this one. Also because it's literally my most colorful palette and I love colors. I love to work with colors. So it's going into the loves of my life, I think. Next up is my Essence X Pac-Man. I used to use this one a lot for an everyday look where I would use this shade and this shade combined. Lovely look. Besides that, uh, I don't really use this palette a lot. So I think I'm gonna put it in there fine because I used to use this one a lot. And like, it functions. When I need that look, it's there for me. I can grab it and I like that. Then I'm gonna go over to this one, and I think this is just gonna be really easy for me. This is the MUA Fire Fixin 15 Shade Palette. I used to always use this one for my everyday look before I got that Essence Pac-Man palette, because I used to use this shade and this shade together. I don't really use it anymore. Maybe I should grab it more often for everyday looks, just like with the other one. Um, but I have already used this one in the past year. But it's also too better to give away to someone or... So I'm gonna put this one in They Exist. Because this, some of the shades are nice, I do grab it sometimes. Okay, next up is this one. And this one is gonna be a tough one to pick a tier for. This is the Makeup Revolution Night Bever for Christmas Jack palette. Some of the colorful shades have disappointed me, but the neutral shades are so lovely. And I do grab this palette every like two, three weeks. I just grab it and do a look with it just because I want to do something with this palette because I'm just so in love with it because of the you know, fact that it's a Night Bever for Christmas movie. <laughs> Like the neutral side is really good. If I had to choose a few palettes that would go with me to an abandoned island or something, I would pick the ColourPop one, but I'd also pick this one because it just has a lovely mix of colorful and nudie shades. And I just like that a lot. And I can stare at the packaging literally all day. And I love to hold this one. It's just my baby. So I think I'll have to put it in the loss of my life. I think I have to. I think so. And the next one on the list is this one, the Essence Wanna Be My Honey eyeshadow palette. It's an eyeshadow and highlighter palette. It's very cute. The thing is, I can like only do like one or two different looks with this one. It's not really that versatile because it has six shades, uh, one of which is a matte neutral that's almost the same shade as my face. Like, I can do like one or two different looks with this palette, and that's about it. So I think I'm just gonna put it in there fine. Like, I do really, really like the concept of this. I like the shades. It's just not that versatile. Then we get to another palette that has one of my absolute favorite packaging. I just don't grab it that often, and I kind of have one look that I like to do a lot with this one, which is combining this brown with the green shimmer, but I don't grab it that often. So when looking at this, I'm putting it in their fine, which is, again, I really like this palette. I just don't grab it enough, and I need to find more looks to do with this one, kind of. Then we're gonna go on to 
two lovely tiny palettes. First of all, this green one. It's the Fab Factory Tropical Beauty palette, but the green one. I do grab this one every once in a while. The greens are nice, the pinks are nice. The shimmers aren't that great. Uh, I think this is gonna be an easy, also, they're fine. I, I feel like I'm grabbing it a lot, but that's just because I use the, the mirror a lot. But I have really grabbed the palette itself that often recently. The same goes for the orange one. I'm putting this one in, it's fine too. I think this is gonna be like my only palette in the the coloring is an option tier. This is the NYX Cosmetics Ultimate Multi Finish Shadow Palette in the shade Electric. So I think I'm gonna put this in the cluttering is an option just because I literally have like maybe used this one twice. I've swatched it a lot. I love swatching this one because the shades are really pretty. I just don't use them. So it's going in that tier. <laughs> Now we're gonna go on to the child palette by Colourpop. Baby Yoda is the most adorable little thing that exists. And this palette, this packaging is so cute. I also love the shades in here a lot. So I'm gonna put this one in. I use this one regularly. Uh, next up is this one. It's the Essence Air palette. The thing is, these are all shimmers and these are lovely shimmers. Some of them I use as highlighters sometimes. Some of them, sometimes I just grab this palette just to put an extra shimmer over my eyelids. But that's about it. Like, I can't make a look with just this one. I'm just gonna put this one in. It's fine too. Next palette, it's kind of similar to that. It's the Essence Crystal Power palette. Also almost all shimmers. Uh, but again, I can't really make a look with just this palette. So it's kind of like a companion palette. And that's the reason I don't grab it that often. So it's going again in the It's Fine chair. It's not bad. The shimmers in here are lovely. And I do love using them. But I just don't grab it that often. I have a few more to go. I'm going on to the Colourpop Sailor Moon palette. This palette, it's cute. Like it's a bit pastel-y shades. Lovely. I know there's some lovely shades in here. And I like grabbing this one for if I know I want to do a few more everyday looks. And with this one, I can just do a bit more neutral daily, combine it with some shimmers or make like a more um, sunset vibe kind of look. So I think I'm going to put it in the It's Fine tier as well. I think. We have six more palettes to go. Uh, I'm first going to go in with the Casino Queen palette. This one, it's such a fun palette to look at. But I barely used it except for this white shade and this green shade. This green shade is my absolute favorite shade. But besides that, I don't really grab this palette just to do one look. So I'm going to put it in It's Fine as well. <laughs> this Revolution Reloaded palette is just a deep dive palette. I really, really love all these green and blue shades. They're pretty. Most of them are lovely. I just barely use this palette. I think I'm going to put this one in The Exist. Because I just don't really like to wear just blue looks. Because for some reason it makes me feel like a grandma who doesn't know how to do makeup. But yeah, I'm going to put this one in the exist. Because like I said, I barely ever grab it. And I have two other Revolution Reloaded palettes. So this is the Provocative palette. It's all pink shades. I've used this one a lot because I used to wear these kinds of shades every day. I've kind of grown out of those. I still like them, but not that often. So I'm going to put this one in... It's fine as well, just because. And then the last Revolution palette is the Revolution Reloaded Velvet Rose palette, which is lovely brown shades. I think I like this palette the best out of the three Revolution Reloaded palettes I have. So I'm gonna put this one in there fine, just because I tend to grab that one a lot more often than the other two. And then we have two more palettes left, and I think I'm pretty clear on where I'm gonna put these. They're both Fab Factory palettes. But yeah, first I'm gonna talk about the nude one because I've had this one first. It's a dupe for the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. I like this one when I want more rosy tones. I used to use this one a lot, but recently I haven't. So I'm gonna put this one in, it's fine. Like, they're fine. But last but not least, we have the Bliss Palette, Sparkling Bliss Palette. I've used this one for like regular day-to-day -day looks a lot. It's what I'm wearing today. Um, I really, really love all these purpley shimmers this one especially these two flaky shades are my favorite shades in my entire collection and yeah there's some other lovely looks i can do with this but i grab this one for everyday makeup looks 
a lot recently. So then the loves of my life would be my Revolution palette and my Colourpop palette, which if I had to choose more daily look palette, I'd pick this one with that as well. But I think I'm gonna put this one in. I use these right here. Yes. I do grab this one like a lot, a lot. Like almost every single day when I feel like just doing a basic look. But lately I've been doing a lot of creative looks and then this just doesn't see the light of day. Let's look at this little tier list for a bit. I think if I have to switch some things, I'm gonna put this Colourpop Sailor Moon palette in. I use these regularly as well. Because when I go over to my boyfriend, I nearly always bring this palette just to do a simple look with. And I think when I look at this, I'm happy with it because these are definitely pa the palettes, like the loves of my life, that I would bring with me to a deserted island and I would be happy using those two palettes. I'm still in doubt if I should, the Bliss, should put the Bliss palette in there as well. I think I'm just gonna do it. I really like that one. It's like one of my favorite neutral palettes at this moment. I think I'm gonna put this one in here. I just don't love it that much. You know, it was a cheap palette, it was fun to have that many shades, but now my collection has grown so much, I have literally every single shade in another palette already, um, so I barely use that one. I'm just gonna put that one in there. I think I'm gonna do it like this. And then the palettes that are in the bottom, the one in the They Exist tier, I'm gonna try and use those ones, like three days in a row or at least three days in a week for a while. So I think I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Uh, so that was my eyeshadow tier list. I ranked all my eyeshadow palettes. If you have any questions about like any one of the eyeshadow palettes, feel free to shoot at me. I'll be happy to answer any of them. Um, I'll link the palettes that I reviewed down below. Like for some of them I wrote a review on my blog and for some of them I did a video review. So I'll just link all of those things down below so you can check that out. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me, if you want to see even more from me my blog and all my socials are linked down below so you can check that out as well. And that's it for today. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Toodles!